one hydrogen today. Again, I'm here with a different video. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire E1. All right, so I got this laptop in because man, they want to do a repaste and they want to do a maintenance because the fan starts making noise. If you guys have a fan noise, like a rubbing fan towards the case or something, this video is for you. I'm just going to show you step by step how to open it up and how to get to the heatsink fan and repaste and lubricate the fan. All right, let's get started. First thing first, remove the battery. To remove the battery, you have to stick a, a, some kind of screwdriver right in there and slide it all the way to the other side. And while you hold that, you want to pull the battery, slide it towards the back side. And there you go. All right, next we're going to unscrew every screw that we see on the bottom uh, cover, on the bottom chassis. All right, next we're going to slide out the CD-ROM. This is the fake CD-ROM cover. If you want to get a new one, you can put it in there. Now, we're going to open the laptop in 45 degree angle. While we hold it open, we're going to grab a guitar pick or any opening tool. I like the guitar pick, it fits nice in my hand. And you're going to stretch it in between the top and bottom cover and you're going to twist it around. And you're going to do this all around the laptop, mostly in front and to the side. In the back, you shouldn't be needing to do this. All right, once you got the sides and the front end opened, you want to lift it up and I have forgot there's two more screws right at the bottom. I didn't see it because of the camera, so I'm going to remove these two. There you go. Also, there's two screws right under the battery. You want to remove these two screws. Now let's go back again, remove the top cover, while you have it at a 45 degree angle, leave it like that, because you don't want to yank, you want to rip these ribbon cables. You want to unhook the, what's called, the ribbon cable for the mouse touchpad, trackpad, by lifting up the white cover, 90 degrees. And now you want to remove the Flex cable for the keyboard, you slide out the lock. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Just slide it toward the battery, the white ones, and the ribbon cable is going to come out. Okay, the top cover is right here, the keyboard and the trackpad. Down here we have the heatsink, the fan, and the Wi Fi board. In order to get there, we have to remove the hard drive first. So remove the USB board that goes, cable that goes over the hard drive. So unhook this one, lift it up. Okay. They actually have an epoxy on it. You can just lift up the whole thing here. You're gonna rip the pot paper. Or you can just unhook it from the other side too. And leave it on top of the hard drive. There we go. Oh, everything comes apart here. Lift up the hard drive. Watch out for the connector. You want to unhook the adapter for the hard drive. There you go. Now, unhook the speakers and the extra Wi Fi cable that is right here. Next, we're going to remove the cables for the Wi Fi board. Just pull them up. Now, let me get my filters. We are going to lift up this tape and then we're going to unhook the flex cable for the LCD All right, by unhooking it easy again this black cover lift it up 90 degrees and just slide out the flex cable. The power jack is right all the way to this end. If you want to replace your power jack right there. Now, in order to lift up the motherboard, you have to unhook the Wi-Fi board. 
There's only one screw. In 45 degree angle, just pull it out. There's a screw right by the anaf switch. Remove that screw. And now we should be ready to lift up the motherboard. Some reason is not coming out. It should come out. There we go. Now, there we have the RAM. I don't know why they did not make a cover for the RAM so we can upgrade the RAM from the other side. You can actually have to flip open, flip the laptop, flip the motherboard to get to the RAM to add an extra RAM. So, yeah. Anyway, so what we're gonna do right now here, as you can, you can see the fan, it was spinning and it was hitting the bottom cover here. So we're gonna unhook the heatsink, and before that we're gonna unhook the power cable for the fan. So there's three screws holding it. All right, now that we got the heatsink apart, we're gonna clean the old thermal paste, and we're gonna add the new thermal paste at once we finished. And now you're gonna service up the fan. There's actually screws here to remove the top plate to access the fan. So remove the four tiny screws right on the top plate. All right. Once you remove that, you can just flip it over. So that way the, the tape is actually helping you to Keep it in one place if you want to. Use a toothbrush to clean up the air ducts right there. Alright, there we have it. Now I cleaned up the fan and the air duct. Alright, now that we I clean up the fan, we clean up the we just gotta grab your toothbrush and just clean up the fans nicely and clean the dust right on the top plate everything so it's actually not rubbing against the fan make sure you if you have an air can just use that one to remove all the dust from underneath and everywhere from the heat sink all right next we're gonna put the screws back in Alright, now we have the screws back in. I'm gonna clean up the heatsink with a thermal paste removal. It's really easy. Alright, now we're gonna grab the motherboard and we're gonna grab our thermal paste. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use an Arctic MX4. You're gonna apply one drop right in the middle of the die. Next, you're gonna grab the heat sink, you're gonna place it right in a position, and you are gonna screw it back in. Alright, now we put the power jack for the fan. You're gonna flip it upside down again. Make sure the cables go through here. And pull the cable for the screen LCD over on top. Make sure everything else is in place. Okay, the jack is nice and tucked in. First thing first, put the LCD cable, slide it right underneath the jack. Right there. And let's put the only screw that we removed from the board. Put the screw for the Put the Wi-Fi cable in. Before we stick it in, I'm just gonna put the cable first. You just have to squeeze them in. It's not twist or anything. They just snap in. And now you have it in place. Put the screw for that. Cable management always 
Oops. Connect the cables for the Wi-Fi and the extra cables here. Grab the hard drive, put the adapter for the hard drive in first. And first plug this other side of the USB so you have room to maneuver the cable. Now push down the hard drive, plug in the other cable back in. And there we have it. Now run the cable for the power jack. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna power it on to make sure the fan there's no noise coming out of it. I'm gonna do this while I unhook the hard drive so I don't wanna damage the hard drive. Okay, you're gonna test the fan just Without USB port, I'm just gonna do it this way. The fan is spinning. We got this screen right there. It says, and uh, there is no noise on the fan. The fan noise, it's okay. So I have no boot media, no boot device found. Uh, we are ready to go. All right, now we can go ahead and put the hard drive connector, slide it in place, put down this ribbon cable, grab the top cover, place the bottom end first, keep it in 45 degree angle, and slide down the ribbon cable for the what do you call this keyboard? All right. Next, just flip open this lock. Put the ribbon cable for the touch trackpad. Close the lock, and we are done. And we can snap back in the. Top cover. Just snap the corners. You're gonna hear those click sounds. That's fine. You may have some uh, tiny and uh, plastic breaking off from the corners from inside. These are those, and uh, they will just break eventually. It's, you can't prevent it. It just the plastic heats up so much, it just dries up. So when you opening it up, you're gonna break tiny pieces. So don't go crazy about that. Now we're gonna close the screen, flip it over, put back down the caddy for the DVD room, put the two tiny screws on the bottom of the battery, put the two screws right far at the back side. All right, now we're gonna put all the screws in. They're all the same size, so you cannot mistake anything. So they're all the same. All right, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, click that thumbs up button. If you subscribe, it really, I really appreciate it. It helps me and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.